Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, ah, actually, let's have a little look around here. We were about to go fight the uh, boss of this area, I believe, or something. Ah, ah, ah. Anyway, let's head up here. So we had a mysterious man that we were following, and that led us to this temple. This giant. Ah, oh, dude, like, seriously? Uh, Alright, that looks good, man. That looks really fucking cool for a game that came out in, like, 2003 or something, or maybe earlier than that. Yes, I know, this is GameCube version, but this did come out in the Dreamcast. Um, that looks so good. Anyway, let's go. Oh, hi. Hello there. Right. We have a giant overgrown parrot attacking us by the look of things. Well, I'm not surprised. We are in the jungle. So, this guy. This, this is a big boy. He's got a couple of annoying attacks up his sleeve, but we're kind of so overpowered, it doesn't really matter. And if we use Lunar Glyph, we can actually stone this guy if we get really lucky. Again, another tip from our friend. Uh, the game's librarian. Now, this stoning doesn't always work, but if you give it a couple of attempts, it will work in the end. Yeah, he's got a lot of area attacks that kind of do significant damage to you. Right, let's see if the old lunar glyph's actually going to work. Ah, uh, didn't work that time. But that's cool. We can try it again next turn. Um, what's what do we have? Uh, you know what? Let's just keep wailing on him as normal. We'll start planning our moves out once that actually works. I tell you what you could do. There's no point. I was going to say we could use... Um, uh, where is it? Where's my glyphs? We could use glyphs of might, but we can also use a glyph of speed. I guess it would just make us all 25% faster. Uh, it works on all of us as well, so I guess we could use it. There's no point in not using it, I guess. Are you going to work this time? There we go. Stone the bastard. Right. He's well and truly buggered now. And uh, the glyph of speed kind of <laughs> doesn't matter now. So that's going to cast quicker on all of us. It's also resistant to spells. Um... So if, you, if you've been silenced or you're using anti-magic, you can still use items, which is really cool, actually. Uh, everybody just wail up. Uh, actually, i tell you what I want you to do. You... Oh, I can't use Blessing, can we? Damn it, we're one short. Well, that's fine. Just uh, attack as normal. Everybody attack. No point using anything too spicy on this thing. Because, you know, it can't really attack us back. Now, that stone isn't permanent. It does wear off. I think there's like a random chance for it at the beginning of each turn to wear off. Looks like we've we've, we've got it for another turn. So, we'll go for some more Cutlass Fury. I can attack. I want you to bless us with that. Just so we can get a bit of healing each turn. Bit of regeneration, why not, right? I mean, it's only like 200 health or something, but you know, 200 health, 200 health. Yeah, what a joke this boss is. We've got a bit of a boss rust going on, actually. Ah, he's unstoned, he's sobered up, bastard, utter bastard. That's okay. We'll uh, stone. Oh. We'll stone him again. Cutlass Fury. Oh, no. We don't want to Cutlass Fury him. Everybody just go for a normal round of attacks because we want to give him another Lunar Glyph. See if that's going to work again this time. Oh, counter-attack. Ouch. You spicy little sausage. You. How are we doing? Did we stone him? Eh, eh, eh. I don't know what the percentage on that is, whether it's 50-50 or what, but 
Sometimes you can go through a whole battle and you can continuously try and stone an enemy and it won't happen. And then other times you get lucky and it triggers every single time. So, you know, whatever. But yeah, really, a really cool little uh, ability, to be honest. So thanks for the game's librarian for letting us know about that one. Also, the item that I was looking for uh, is not the white coat. It is a white map. And that will reduce encounter rates. Nice. Yeah. <sighs> Didn't really hold up very well, did he? That was easy. That was easy, because we stoned the bastard. Right, not bad. Like nearly 2,000 XP. Uh, oh, Fina leveled. Nice. We like it. Lots of magic XP as well. And a Sylph Seed. Lovely. Well, it looks like the crystal is probably sealed in here. Ooh. Hey everyone, look over here. The person on this wall looks like Fina. Ha. Huh. You're right. I wonder if it's that quite, yeah, the villagers were talking about. We who have come from the Temple of the Silver Moon. You know? We who have come from the Temple of the Silver Moon have sealed within the forest after the rains of destruction washed away the lands, the unsleeping giant, Grendel. And upon his ceiling, the green crystal was kept within these walls. This is written in the holy language of the Silver Temple. The Silvites must have inscribed these words when they were here. These are the ruins of Ixitaka, right? Why would Silvites come here? The rains of destruction nearly destroyed the green civilization. But even after the rains fell, Grendel still terrorized the lands for many generations to follow. The Silvites came here to contain him for many generations. Damn. Oh, coffee. Lovely. But they came too late. The green civilization was destroyed and the people were reduced to a few primitive tribes of scavengers. The people from that village probably thought the Silvites were gods because they were able to contain Grendel. It all makes sense now. That's why they thought Fino was this quiet, yeah, person. But it says the green crystal is kept within these walls, right? But I don't see the green crystal anywhere. I wonder where it is. You're right. It should be here. Who's there? <laughs> I love Dragma. Shoot first, ask questions later. Don't let him get away. He might have the crystal. Well. So this is the ghost. Who are you? Why are you following us? Please don't kill me. I'm a high priest of Ixitaka. High priest? So you followed us all the way from uh, Hortika. No, I didn't follow you. I, I've been here for a long time. It's my duty to guard these ruins. If anybody tries to loot what's in these ruins or steal the sacred green stone, I contact King Ixitaka. Wait a minute, you mean to tell me that the king knew where the lost city was all this time? Yes, we figured out Isper's riddle, and we found Rixus. And here we found the sacred green stone. The king and Isper were very happy, because we could use the stone to stop the Valuans. Uh-oh. Stop the Valuans? You aren't going to. Yeah. 
tell us, or do you want me to crack your skull? <laughs> track man. All right, all right, I'll tell you. The King and Ispa said that the sacred green stone had the power to awaken the giant. If the giant was to come, he would chase the Valuans back to the eastern skies and we would be safe. <gasps> what? Uh-oh. More coffee is needed. Why does this remind me of Sonic? Sonic Adventure, where you go to the um, ruins. Ispa, now that you're free and the Valuans are busy looking for Vase and his friends, we can summon the mighty giant. Awaken, giant of the forest. I, who hold the sacred green stone, command you to destroy our enemies. Uh oh. This is bad. Please, please forgive us. There is no other way for us to save the forest and the people of Itsitaka. Well, that's not true, is it? But okay. What is that rumbling sound? Oh, no, not again. Uh oh. That is a gribbly sounding monster. Somebody is summoning Grendel. Uh oh. This is bad. Oof. The Cygnus Admiral flagship. Alfonso has a new ship. Look over there. So King Ixitaka was hiding the crystal from us after all. Yeah, this is going to be easy. All I have to do is take the crystal from him and the Empress will be pleased. Awaiting orders, Admiral. Oh, and I heard that you were injured in the mines. Are you alright, sir? Don't. I don't ever want to hear you speak of those mines again. Understand? All ships, prepare for battle. Follow my flagship, the Cygnus. Head towards the light and find King Ixitaka. New, brand new spiffing ship, eh? Yeah, that Vice Admiral will get murdered anyway. Imagine being uh, part of Alfonso's crew. Oof. Death sentence. Look at this thing. Oh, this thing looks gnarly. <laughs> That's a lot of firepower. Oof. Well, there's one down. Blast! Retreat! We cannot get past the Gigas. But, but, sir, the battle hasn't even started yet. Why are you questioning my orders? I refuse to die in these filthy lands. All ships, return to Valua at once. What a bitch. No fight in the man at all. Why would they awaken him? Don't they understand that the entire Valua and Armada will retaliate against them? Yeah, I think Grendel could do a hell of a lot of damage to the Armada. Everybody, back to the little Jack. We have to stop that thing. Alright, now we're going to have a bit of a boss rush mode here. Um, 
so we've just had one boss. I mean, he wasn't really much of a boss, but we took him out. That was the overgrown parrot. Obviously, uh, turkey is on the menu. Nice bit of white meat. Um, let's get out of here. And now we've got to go fight a Gigas. We've got to go fight Grendel. Or Gigas, however you want to say it. He's a he's a he's a big boy. Although the king looks like he's got him under control. Sacred giant, destroy our enemies. Chase them from our lands forever. <laughs> well, it looks like Grendel's awake. Admiral Di Loco, the experimental Moonstone Cannon is ready. Looks like it's time for me to test out my newest weapon. Target King Ixitaka's ship. A what? So, you're not going to fire at the Gigas? The Gigas only follows the commands of the person holding the crystal. So if we destroy King Ixitaka's ship, the Gigas will be defenseless. This is what happens when you cross me. Fire the Moonstone Cannon. Yeah, the Moonstone Cannon looks quite terrifying. Brrrr. Wake up, wake up. This is not good. He passed out. We must retreat. King Ixtaka was controlling the Gigas. Until he wakes up, it's going to destroy everything in its path. Yeah, that's bad. Very ugly ship they have there as well. Look at how, like, organic it is. Such a weird creation. I'm guessing it's supposed to be a robot? Kind of? Well, that's concerning. Seems to be in pain. Can't be a robot. <laughs> so close. It looks like there's still some fine tuning to be done. I'm sure Vaze has seen the Gigas, and he's probably on his way right now to try and save everybody. Be ready for him. Sir, a ship has been spotted off the port side. He's here, he's here. I've been waiting for this. Well, Vase, it's time to die. Wait until you feel the power of my Moonstone Cannon. You should feel honored that you're helping me test my greatest creation ever. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Grendel is in range, but there is a ship in front of it. It's DeLoco. It looks like we'll have to get past D Loco first. Look out for that cannon. Aye aye, Captain. Bring it on, D Loco. Let's go. So here we are. Round two, huh? Looks like he's doesn't have the flame gun anymore. I've been waiting for you, Vase. Now you will learn the true power of the ever changing chameleon. Yeah, looks like he's serious this time, boy. He's trying to get behind us. Vase, just make sure we watch out for that big cannon that he fired at King Ixitaka. One hit of that and we're dead. Um, that's not true. It actually isn't that deadly. Okay, he's got more to fear from us, so I can assure you. Right, let's start off by dumping some gear grease into the machine. Um... And I think we're just going to guard. Uh, right. Yeah, just guard. And I guess on the final turn, we'll get a repair kit going. Now, unfortunately, these battles, as we've discussed before, are so slow. 
Might actually turn the game speed up just a little bit here. Let's put the game speed up to like plus 40. Because otherwise we will be here forever, man. Evasive action. Yeah, let's keep ducking and weaving. Yeah, the handgun is what he has instead of the uh, flamethrower now. And it really doesn't do that much damage. He's got a torpedo attack, which does a somewhat significant amount of damage. And he, of course, has his moonstone cannon, which yeah, really doesn't do that much damage either. So, prepare to fire the moonstone cannon. Hold all systems and redirect all power. <laughs> you can't knock me off balance if my ship isn't moving, Vase. <laughs> now feel the power of my moonstone cannon. The enemy vessel has stopped. What's going on? Looks like he's got something up his sleeve. But now's our chance. We need to hit him as hard as we can whilst he's stopped. We'll take a bit of a beating, but we can take uh, but we can take this chance and hit him as hard as we can. Or we can play it safe and back away. But we won't be able to do as much damage. But neither will he. Uh, we're going to take a chance. And open fire. We need to take a chance. And get him. And hit him with everything we've got. Let's take him out for good. Sometimes you have to take a risk to win. Well boy. Open fire. Okay. Cool. So. We are going to take a bit of a beating here. I need to mute my laptop. Now, first thing we're going to do is hit up a repair kit, and then we're just going to go for the cannon, go for the shock torpedo, hit him there, and on this particular turn, we're going to guard. And I'm going to drink coffee, and hopefully we're not going to go down with the ship. But, he, yeah, he doesn't really take do that much damage. Famous last words and all that. Now, our G cannon actually does quite a lot of damage. Need a bigger coffee cup. Shock torpedo away! He's charging. Nice. We've already done a third of his health and damage, so it's cool. I don't think he repairs himself. Yeah. Now, it kind of looks really devastating, but as you can see, it doesn't do much at all. They're still just sitting there. They've probably used up too much energy on that last attack. Exactly. So now is our chance to stick that up his ass. Alright, so we'll hit him with that. And then we'll hit him with that. And then we're going to use a Dulux kit, because we're going to need some repairs. And then we'll hit ourselves up with a little bit of gear grease. Come at me, fool! Fire the weapon! I've been getting bang! Yeah, that really hurts him. That really hurts. A couple of those and they'll be done. Okay, that kind of didn't do a lot of damage that time. Not to worry. You can use evasive action all you want, Sonny Jim. Ain't gonna help you much, I can assure you. Yeah, that handgun seemingly does more damage than the um, Moonstone Cannon, which is interesting. Okay. They've stopped again. Vase, what should we do this time? Take a chance and open fire. Wait a minute. Why can't I get... Ah, oh, I don't get the choice to use my... I think that's fine. Right. So, hit him with the blaster. We're going to want to use a repair kit. Um, Here, let's... fire a shock torpedo and let's just go for another repair kit there missed brilliant 
Misses are painful. They really are. But that's okay. The 90 damage on that second time. That's pathetic. We only fire one torpedo, he fires two. Not fair. Oof. Got hit by the torpedoes there. But that's why we had uh that's why we had that second health kit stored up. Hey, missed with the sub cannons. Nice. Okay, what's going on? He didn't fire the moonstone cannon. Lord the, the blast. The last blast nearly drained all the energy from the ship. We must recharge the cannon. Perhaps firing this prototype Moonstone cannon was too much for it to handle. I think maybe we should... Silence! Silence! I do not want to hear any excuses. Fire! 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 The Moonstone cannon. Uh, okay. Well, you fire your Moonstone cannon. I'm going to give you a shock torpedo. And I'm... Ooh. And I'm going to let you have some of that. Uh, we will pop a repair kit there. And I guess we'll give you the main cannon. Ah, well, at least the torpedo made contact. Oof. Ooh, that's done. That's done. That's okay. Yeah, he's hurting now. He's really hurting now. Yeah, he's not a very deadly enemy, really. Not considering. 4,000 damage. Oof. Yeah, that handgun hurts. Okay, so we've got two opportunities here. So we are going to blast with the Type G, blast with the 5 inch. Uh, we'll give him a torpedo as well. Uh, actually, probably. Should we hit him with a torpedo? I guess we could hit him with a torpedo. Yeah, we're still going to have enough. So that's fine. And we'll pop a repair kit there. Oh, oh, he's had enough. That's all right. Didn't even need the second round with the harpoon gun. <laughs> okay. Happy with that. Nice amount of points here, too. Good amount of experience. Nice amount of gold. Can't go wrong with that. And we got a hunter torpedo. Uh, now, unfortunately, we are on half an hour here. This cannot be! How could I lose twice? No, 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 no! It has to be a dream. It's all just a bad dream. Sir, get a hold of yourself. We can't face the Gigas in this shape. All ships, pr back to Valua. Yeah, get your ass out of here. All right, DLoco's retreating yet again. It's still too early to celebrate. We still have to stop Grendel. But he's too big. How can we stop him? Hey. See that cannon or canyon? No matter how strong that thing is, if it falls into the canyon, it'll be stuck. I see. So all we have to do is knock it down. Aye. Wait for him to pass in front of it, then hit him in the back. Got it. All right, everybody. Let's take him down. Yeah, so we're on for another fight here. But again, this fight does go on for quite a while. So, I'm going to stop the recording here, guys. And when we come back, we're going to take on Grendel. So, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.